Um, hello everyone, um, I'm Ghani Yudris Adedayo, the billionaire realtor. Today we'll be discussing about one of the most important factors uh, when it comes to buying property, particularly when it comes to buying land. This is the most important factor. So if this factor is not put in order, believe me, every other thing will be crumbled, like every other thing will not go, uh, will not go well. So it must be given a due attention before you buy your first property. So you have money in hand, you want to buy uh, land. You have to put this into consideration, like it is very, very important. This is highly important. So what is this factor I'm about to tell you? So what is this thing that is so important like that, that I want to tell you about? Location. Location is the most important factor when it comes to buying land. Why is location so important? Um, believe me, nowadays, buying land is more than, oh, I have one, let me go and buy land anyway. No, you don't just buy land anywhere again. You buy land at a very good location, not just any other location. Maybe during the days of our fathers, grandfathers and the like, they can buy land anywhere and build houses. But no, it is no longer like that. In Nigeria of today, in the real estate of today, you have to buy property in a very paramount and a very good um, um, location. People used to say, oh, I have money, I buy land there, I have money, let me buy land there. So, do you know that it's possible somebody should buy property and the property will not yield any return, like the property will not develop. So, these are some of the things that happen if one did not buy property at a good location. Those are some of the repercussions if the location is not well put into consideration. So, I'll be giving you four steps, four factors, four points you have to consider that will make sure that um, you get land at a very good location. So buying land is very good from time immemorial. Buying land, doing land banking or anything relating to land is always very good. It's um, just like a good mine, you can never never get it wrong. Like you are going to make a huge return from your money. Several billionaires invest in land, they buy high amount of land. Land has, uh, land has um, it's no longer, oh, I have money, let me go and do this. I think uh, it's, it's a game of the wealthy, it's a game of the poor. No, everybody can do land banking. Anybody, everybody can buy land. Currently, the, the person that owns the highest amount of land in the whole world is uh, Bill Gates. It used to be Queen Elizabeth before, but currently the person that owns the highest amount of land in the whole world is Bill Gates. So, you are ready to buy your land now. So, what's the first thing? to put into consideration. Number one is that you want to buy land now, buy it in the state that has so many opportunity, that has so many opportunities, not just any state in Nigeria. Nigeria, for instance, not just any state, buy it in a state that is full of opportunities, states that has so many potential. Like in Nigeria now, the best place you can uh, buy property, landed property, and make huge return on your money as soon as possible. Number one in Nigeria is Lagos, like undoubtedly Lagos. Like there is no rivalry in that. Number one is Lagos. Um, number two is Abuja, followed by Port Harcourt. In fact, in the entire African um, continent, the, the number one place you can buy property and make a return on your property as early as possible, as soon as possible. The number one is Lagos in the entire Africa this time around. Though. So number one is Lagos, number two is uh, Port uh, Abuja, so followed by, I think, uh, Port Harcourt and Johannesburg, um, as the as the thought. The, the country with the most expensive land in the whole world is Nigeria. It, it's Lagos, rather. It's Lagos. And we're in Lagos, that's Banana Island. So Banana Island is the place that you can get the most expensive land in the whole world. So back to location. We want to buy property. Make sure that the state you are buying your property the state filled with so many opportunities, so many potential that will make your land to get a return as soon as possible. That is the number one factor under the location. The second factor now, to so buy your property in a place very close to huge amount of population, like very close to high density area. So, so that people living in the high density, they will be migrating down to, to the place and they'll come and buy the property in the place. So the second factor to put into consideration is that you want to buy part in a city like Lagos, where in Lagos, a place that is very close to highly populated area. So that people will move from the highly populated area, then they will now move to the 
um, low populated area where you buy your property and a property will also develop as soon as possible because people, if a place is very densely populated people will have to go to a low populated to be living maybe they are working in a very populated area they will be they'll be living in a dense uh, in a lightly populated area so the second factor is that buy property very close to a densely populated area, very highly populated area. So that's the second factor you need to put into consideration. The third factor is that buy land that is very close to a government project or any big project. It may be project by the government, it may be a project by the private individual. Because don't forget, location is very important. People can buy land and the land will not give them any return in five years to come, in 10 years to come. Whereas some people can buy land and they'll be seen 100% within, within six months. It's very possible. They can be getting 200% in eight months. It's very, very possible once they get the location right. So, buy pro uh, land close to uh, a big government project. For instance, now, um, let's say people buy land close to a university. It means university students, they will need hostel in the future and they can build, they will, um, they will be living in the hostel very close to the university because of the university if you made any land surrounding the university area to develop because students will need accommodation there will be need for hotels there will be need for um there will be need for eateries there will be need for restaurants and the likes so for instance now um 40 50 years ago um ikeja ikeja used to be the hottest place in lagos even before the airport so when they the construction of the airports in Ikeja. Some people went there to go and buy before they started the construction itself. So right now, anywhere around the Ikeja airport is super, is super, super expensive. Like it's super expensive. So that is it. Like um, also right now, one of the most, one of the fast growing place in Lagos where people are buying property is Ekbe. So why are they going down to Ekbe? It's because Ekbe is very close to many government projects. Like uh, Ekbe and Ibejuleki are very close together. So just like five and six, I used to call them five and six. So in Ibejuleki, um, there is a Dangote refinery, and Dangote, Dangote refinery itself costs fourteen billion dollars, and um, it is estimated that it's going to be employing uh, fifty-seven thousand workers. Imagine if they will be employing fifty-seven thousand workers. Any landed property around that area will be so so developed, and Dangote refinery, entire Dangote, not, not, not just only refinery. It consists of the um, um, refinery is there, petrochemical is there, urea is there, and uh, I think fertilizer is there too. So all the, all those four. And it's estimated that Dangote refinery, Dangote group of business in Ibejuleki is three times bigger than the Victoria Island, Victoria Island in Lagos. So just to tell you that um, how big it is. And upon that, there is also a, DL, a seaport in Ibejuleki. It is called Lekki Deep Seaport. So Lekki Deep Seaport will be employing. Um, uh, I think 120,000 staffs one, it, when it is fully operational. So those are the factors that must be put in, in, into consideration. So big projects will make any area surrounding it to develop. Like it has no choice, all those areas will develop. Like Ekbe now, there's a proposed international airport coming down to Ekbe and that airport will be taking 3,400 acre, acres of land. So any houses nearby, any land nearby will develop. So people should endeavor to buy land close to a big government project or private or any individual project but it may be a project that is going to have a good features employ people uh, so that any neighboring places any nearby places will, will develop so the fourth factor also the last one buy property in a place that it is well planned it is well planned buy property in a way that it is well planned don't just buy property anyway make sure that this place is well planned this is a uh, government allocated this place for agricultural purpose and uh, allocated this way for a residential purpose or for commercial purpose buy it in a way that is well planned so that will give you peace of mind and that will also enable you to perfect your document if you want to go for c or for any other document you want to be doing in the future so that will give you peace of mind to 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 go ahead and um, and do it so I'll also be giving you a bonus today. So I always come with bonus, so I'll give you a bonus. But I'll give you just that. Um, you've, after you've gotten a good location you buy, uh, to buy a property, and you've bought your property, don't just leave the land like that. Don't just leave the land like that. Make sure you do something on it. Believe me, make sure you do something on it. So that will add value to your land. That will add, apart from the security you are going to get on it, it's going to add value to the land. 
So you can do fence, you can do gatehouse. So it's very, very good if you can do fence. No matter how, how high or how small it is, make sure you do the fencing and uh, it will prevent encroachment and some other things too. So, and if you know you can't do all this by yourself, just not the location by yourself, you can employ the service of a, of a, um, of a realtor that no, no sun is. I'm here for you anyway. So that's all I have for today. So I'll be doing part two of this series where I'll be talking in depth about about some things you need to also check in when it comes to the location. After picking a location, something you have to also have to check in. That part two is very, very important. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And once again, I'm Ghanaian Idris Adedayo, the billionaire realtor.